In this tutorial, we are going to talk about creating an assembly guide that can be used as an instructional documentation for constructing a model. This is a 3D model of a coffee table and it's comprised of detachable components, along with the necessary brackets and bolts to hold its structure. Let's begin by rotating the model upside down to reveal all of its components. Let's break down this model and explain the assembly process quickly to understand the design. The aprons are the first components that need to be attached to the top of the table, and eight bolts will be used to affix it. Then the brackets will be installed and tightened by 16 bolts. The four legs will be added at the end and they will be attached using bolts, one for each leg. Let's start separating the components and position them in a way that would mimic their initial state before the model is assembled. Select the bolt that is holding the leg in place and move it diagonally from the leg by displacing it away in the axis 0.05 units, which is equivalent to 5 cm and 5 cm in the Y axis. Repeat this step to have all the bolts positioned away from the legs. Switch to the Animation Workbench to gain access to the Animation Timeline and the Animation Tools, and from the Object Animation menu, select Hide. Select the legs group from the Object Tree and move them in the Z-axis away from the top part of the table. Then from the Object menu, select Hide. With the same principle, position the bolts that are holding the brackets away from the brackets. Select the group containing the brackets and from the Object Animation menu, select Hide. Continue breaking down the assembly, making sure you separate the components away from their intended position, then settling their visibility status to hidden. Once you are left with the top piece of the table, you can start creating the construction animation. Set the timeline slider to frame 10. Then with the aprons group selected, click on Show from the Object Animation menu. That action will create a keyframe on frame 10 that will show the aprons once the animation reaches frame 10. Slide the timeline to frame 40, then move the aprons group downward to attach it to the top. Play the animation and notice that the aprons start moving even prior to reaching frame 1. This is caused by the initial keyframe that SimLab Composer creates for any animated object on frame 0. Slide the initial keyframe by dragging it to frame 20 to have the aprons move 10 frames after they appear. Slide the timeline 10 more frames and select the aprons bolts, then click on Show from the Object Animation menu. Slide the timeline 40 frames to the right or simply set it to frame 90, then push the bolts down to secure the aprons. Slide the bolts initial keyframe to have their animation starting at frame 60 and not at frame 0. Move the timeline slider 10 frames, then show the brackets. Then move the slider 40 more frames and push the brackets downward. It is a good practice to have the equal intervals between the keyframes to have a consistent animation flow.
continue in the same pattern to have all the components that we separated earlier visible and in their correct place. Click Start to play the animation and see how the components are appearing, then moving to their right placement in the right order, and according to the keyframes we created for each part of the model. Let's add some visual guides to the animation. Go to the 3D Models Library and from the Symbols category, drag and drop the straight arrow model. Position the arrow over the aprons and with the timeline current frame set to zero, click on Hide. Drag the timeline slider to the frame where the aprons appear, then with the arrow model selected, click on Show from the Object Animation menu. Slide the timeline to the last frame in the aprons animation, then push the arrow downward. Now we have an animated arrow that matches the behavior of the aprons and serves as an additional indicator of how the aprons should be placed on the table's top. Move the timeline slider to the frame where the bolts appear and select Hide from the Objects menu to hide the arrow on that frame. Switch to the 3D Models Library and go to the Tools category, where you can find a variety of tools that can be used as visual guides in the animation. Drag and drop the Phillips screwdriver to the scene. Hide the screwdriver on frame 0, then drag the timeline slider to the frame where the bolts first appear. Then show the screwdriver on that particular frame. 
Position the screwdriver on top of a screw using the movement tool or by pressing N on the keyboard, then clicking on the screw to automatically snap the screwdriver to the screw. Match the movement of the screwdriver with the movement of a bolt by having it positioned on top of it on the first and on the last keyframe in the bolt's animation. To add rotation to the movement of the screwdriver, click on Wheel Animation from the Object Animation menu. Set the begin frame to frame 60, which is the frame where the screwdriver starts moving downward, and the end frame to frame 90, which is where the screwdriver stops moving vertically. Set the number of revolutions and make sure you set the direction to CW, which stands for clockwise. Then determine the axis of rotation for the screwdriver by picking the center of the rotation. The screwdriver is now rotating clockwise while descending, mimicking the movement of a screwdriver tightening a bolt. Apply the wheel animation to the bolt that is being driven by the screwdriver, and use the same settings as earlier to have a matching animation between the two objects. You can either add another screwdriver to the scene and follow the same steps to tighten the brackets bolt, or you can add a rotating arrow to the scene. Rescale the arrow and position it near the bracket bolts. Make sure that it is hidden on frame 0 and appears on frame 150, which is the frame where the bolts first appear. Use the wheel animation as shown earlier to create a rotating animation for the arrow and match it with the movement of the bolts. You can use as many tool models and symbols as you see necessary to further clarify the assembly process. Click Start to play the animation and see the final result. SimLab Composer offers several tools that can simplify the process of creating an assembly animation. The ability to render your animation or to export it as a PDF document with ease makes SimLab Composer a great partner that tremendously aids in creating technically and artistically appealing visual guides and documentations for your design.